Hey, what's going on? Today I got something pretty cool. We're going to be going over this all-in-one monitor. It's an LCD display and it hooks right up to your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it's a 7-inch touch monitor. Uh, it's got speakers. It's from Wixamit and uh, there's a link in the description on how you can get one of these two. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. Alright. So that's the back of the LCD monitor. As you can see, uh, it's going to require a little bit of assembly, and um, you're going to need your own Raspberry Pi to hook up to this. And I'll show you how to set that up. So it's a nice, compact, portable, seven inches, easy to uh, throw in a backpack and take with you wherever you go. If you don't want to attach your Raspberry Pi to the back, it has the power, touch, and HDMI display on the side, so you can do it that way. But I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the back. That's the way I'm going to do it, so it's all connected. Nice and easy. And then it comes with the 3B and 4B accessories, so depending on which Raspberry Pi model you're trying to hook up is the one that you're going to want to use. So I'm going to be hooking up a 3B, so I'll be taking the 3B... Uh, Raspberry Pi accessories out and the micro USB to USB and the HDMI to HDMI so we're going to need that in a little bit so the 4B we're going to set aside and then it comes with two speakers and some tools and some leg stands to help keep it up all right and lastly we have our cables we there's an HDMI and a power cord in there all right so let's get started all right so you're gonna grab your Raspberry Pi like I said I'm using a 3B but you can use the 4B if you'd like and then we're going to use this HDMI to HDMI and this is what connects from the Raspberry Pi to the monitor it's the output on the Raspberry Pi to the input of the monitor and that way you're going to be able to stream the video from the Raspberry Pi so the first thing you want to do is add these little spacers that it comes with to the back of the posts and that way you can put the screw into the spacer just screw these little pegs in there that's going to help offset the height of the Raspberry Pi so you have some uh, some room to hook up the accessories so once you get them in there you should have those pegs on there just like that and you can see I have the HDMI already on there so on the board so I'm gonna slide it into the Raspberry Pi just like that now everything lines up and we can put our screws in And then you're going to just screw the motherboard onto the monitor. Alright, next thing we're going to do is throw on the speakers. So you're going to take out your speakers. And you can see on the back of them, they got that little um, adhesive strip so you're gonna uncover that so it doesn't matter which one you use for left and right but once you get them on they're just like that and the way you do that is you take this little plug and uh, you gotta work it in just like this not a lot of room you gotta figure out the most comfortable way to get your fingers in there A little bit of a struggle, but once you get it started, it's easy to push in. Now all you have to do is take off that backing, and then you can just stick it right in that outline. Boom. Alright, next we're going to take our USB-A to micro USB and we're going to plug it in just like this from the board to the Raspberry Pi and this is going to be what enables the touch screen. Um, so 
go ahead and just plug it in like that. And I already got the power cord, you plug that right into the system. And you could hook up optional fans if you wanted to. Uh, that doesn't come with this kit. But you can see there's a volume rocker on the side. And then it also has your power touch and display inputs on the side if you didn't want to hook up your board to the back. So there you go. All right, next we're going to put the legs on. This is the last step before we power it on. So go ahead. It's easier to put your screw inside the little leg first and then screw it into one of the pegs at the bottom. So there's one on each side of the bottom. Just screw them in. And when you're done, you should be able to stand right up. And that completes the build. There you go. Pretty easy to assemble. You just need a little bit of patience and a steady hand. So we'll go ahead and take this screen off, the covering. Sometimes it's easier just to pick it up from the corner. And we'll power it on. Give it a few seconds and then it boots up to their home screen for the Raspberry Pi. So this is going to run whatever operating system you have on your Raspberry Pi. So whatever you're using it for. So whether you want to use it for a retro Pi or if you just want to load up the latest Raspberry Pi operating system, whatever you put on that, you know, that SD card is what you're going to get. All right, so let's load up the game and check out the sound. As you can see, the built-in speakers are pretty loud, so you can use that rocker on the side, the volume rocker, to adjust the volume, turn it up and down. And you can see it shows you on the screen that the uh, volume is moving up and down accordingly, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to hook up a mouse and see how that works. So the touchscreen is pretty responsive, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, but we're going to hook up this mouse and, and we're going to use it like a regular um, computer. So as you can see I got it in there, the mouse is moving around. Um, it's moving exactly how you would expect it to, so no surprise there. So obviously it isn't necessary to use a mouse or a keyboard, but you can use both the options there if you so choose. But just keep in mind it is a pretty responsive touchscreen monitor and you don't need to use any of those accessories if you don't want to because all you got to do is touch the screen. And then it comes with that little wipe to, to clean off the screen if you get the fingerprints all over it. So you don't have to worry too much about that either. Um, very responsive as you can see. You can drag things around the desktop. You can see the, mount, the um, arrow moving when I touch it. Drag the recycle bin around. No problems. I uh, no dead spots that I could find on the screen, so everything appears to be working perfectly. All right, so if you want one of these cool monitors, uh, all in one, you don't have to worry about bringing around a bunch of equipment. You already have your screen with you. All you need is a power source. Then I recommend getting this Wixamit seven-inch Raspberry Pi all-in-one monitor. Um, as you can see, very responsive. I'm very happy with it. Um, so a quick demo with the calculator, you know, um, it recognizes every time I touch on the screen, so can't complain there. You can use it for whatever you use your Raspberry Pi for, uh, whether it's for games or, you know, just a, just a, des a portable desktop you want to bring around. Um, highly recommend it, so go ahead and check out the links in the description. Go ahead and get your very own. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content coming out soon. And as always, thanks for watching.